Hi everyone, I'm Sharon Olszewski from Pineapple Paper Company, and today we're going to cover the toolbar in the Procreate app. Now this is a very brief video intended for beginners or brand new Procreate users, and I'm going to gear it towards crafters, not those of you that are looking to create professional art with Procreate. I'm going to do more videos on how to make simple cut files for Procreate, so stay tuned for those. So we're going to open Procreate. This is what you get whenever you open Procreate. This is the gallery. The gallery shows all of your previous work. So you can see here what I have been working on. So let's just do a quick run through of what Procreate is. If you've never used Procreate before, it is very, very user friendly. So if you touch the gallery, you'll go back to the main screen. Here in the top, we have the wrench tool. This is the actions panel. So actions panel has also within it this collection of options. Here with add, this is where you will insert your photo if you're working on it. You can add text, which I'll show you how to do. And you can also work with cut and copy. Here's the canvas. Within this, you can change the size. If for some reason you selected the same size canvas and you just wanted to change it, or you wanted to change the DPI, you can do that in here by changing the settings. Also here, we have the drawing guide. You can set a drawing guide and you can do a lot of fun things with this if you want to make sure your lines are straight or anything like that. You can also flip horizontal. That is important for all of you sublimation file creators. You need to mirror image all of your files. And then you also have the canvas information. Here's the share, that's how you export your items. Video is time-lapse recordings. If you've ever watched the videos where you create the image and you kind of see it go very quickly, uh, that's where you see this. And here are preferences. Uh, one of my favorite things on here is the light to dark interface. You can change that as well as the uh, right to left hand. I actually prefer having my controls as if I were um, left-handed. I don't know why, it's just I've always done it. And you can also do some things with your stylus in here, but honestly, for the basic user, you're not gonna mess with that. Then up here, you have your adjustments. This is if you're creating more drawn artwork as opposed to something else. Here, let's turn off that uh, drawing guide. We don't need that right now. Um, and I'm also gonna leave this in dark because although you may get a little bit of my camera or phone in this, uh, it is a little bit easier to see in the end. Uh, so again, adjustments, this is if you're creating other artwork. I do this a lot if I'm creating shadows or things like that. Uh, here is kind of your ribbon select tool. Um, there's nothing on our canvas right now, so it's really kind of hard to see how these work. Um, and that's the select tool. Over on this side, we have our brush panel. Here is where all of your brushes that you can use in Procreate live. If you look along this side, anything that kind of has a icon next to it um, outside of this Procreate logo, the Procreate logo are all uploaded brushes. You can see I have a ton and we'll go down here. And if you notice, all of these have icons. So these all come with Procreate. You can get a ton of different brushes from drawing and painting. Um, the one that I use mostly for SVG files or Cricut files is the calligraphy. So we're gonna kind of live in there today. Plus you can even create with these plus signs, you can create collections of brushes. So I have um, my favorite brushes in general. I also kind of have a favorite brushes that I've imported. And that's the brush library. This is the smudge tool. Imagine like a little finger smudging the erase tool. This is the layers panel. We will talk about this in a little bit more detail later, but the layers panel is something that you'll see in Adobe products like Photoshop or Illustrator. And it's imagining a stack of artwork. The bottom layer is the bottom of the stack and then they go up from there. So you can actually build your files. And that's why in your canvas, it gave us the maximum canvas uh, layers that you can have. And then over here is your color selector and your palettes. So I have black selected right now. I have these collections of palettes. These are my everyday palettes. Um, I use these colors the most out of anything. And you can see here, I have all of these imported palettes. All of these palettes actually you can get in my shop. 
So when you decide that you want to do some more artwork, I have a whole collection of palettes for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Procreate tutorials. And if you'd like some more written tutorials and crafts, head to my website, pineapplepaperco.com. And don't forget to head to the link in the video description to get the password for my free downloads library. There are over 250 free SVGs, printables, and more. Hey.